Hey, welcome back everybody. On this episode, we're going to be taking a look at Alma Linux 9.3. This is a, uh, I think this is uh, the Linux uh, system that uh, took over uh, Cent OS, if I'm not mistaken. And it is a Red Hat uh, based system. So we're going to go ahead and install it and take a look. Right here on installer, I think it's using the Anaconda installer. And our language is set to English, correct. Okay, proceed. Alright, here there's a few things that we have to set up. So if you see the little triangle, the warning triangle, that means it needs to be set up. So this one, you need to take it twice. Click done. Ah, uh, see, it says reclaim space. Uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, delete all. So that's set up. What's next? Root password. And then user creation. Looks like everything's set up and ready to go. Let me just check a few things first. Software selection. Ah. You know what? Let's just go ahead and begin installation and get it going. So this should take like between five and ten minutes. So uh, once everything's completed, I'll come back and uh, we'll reboot into the system. Okay. It looks like uh, Alma Linux has uh, completed installation, so let's go ahead and reboot the system and take a look around. First, let me go ahead and uh, remove the disk, the ISO, I mean. All right, ISO is removed, and I'll click Restart System. All right, we reboot it. Go ahead and put on my password and get into the system so we can start taking a look. Welcome to Alma Linux. If you want to learn your way around, check out the tour. So let's go ahead and uh, take a tour of Alma Linux. Start the tour. All right, get an overview. Make apps your own. Keep on top of workspaces. Uh, screen gestures for those touch screens all right it's your basic uh known welcome tour all right we are in the system uh the wallpaper seems a little off or is it me let me go ahead and see if, uh, all right, damn, I thought maybe the whole screen was probably, uh, not correct, but now, now we got it from edge to edge, sometimes you gotta fix the zoom on the wallpaper, but, uh, let's see what we got here, we have our, uh, panel and our system, system tree, we have our, uh, it's like an all-in-one all these if you click either one it's all going to open up the same thing so this is where you have your power off and log out session you can lock your screen and get to your settings and balanced I'm not sure what that is power saver power saver all right and then you have your internet connection 
and of course a volume rocker. Then in the middle of the panel you have a, you have a clock and clicking on the clock opens up a calendar. Alright, and then on your upper left hand side you have your activities. So clicking on activities opens up this dock here with your application menu and also some other pinned uh, applications. So let's take a look at uh, the pinned applications first. We have our terminal. And looks like our kernel is uh, 5.14.0. And being that we are on GNOME, it should be the GNOME terminal. And it is. GNOME terminal version 3.40.3. Alright, get back up to activities. And right here, help. This is your basic GNOME help. So if there's something you want to know about, click it on here. And it should get you the information you need. Alright, and this is GNOME help. Alright, back to activities and software. This is a software manager. I'm not sure if it actually. Uh, you know what? Let me just take a look at it first and see what it is. Software 41.5. So let's go ahead and search for a few things, see if it's working out of the box. It's top, no application file. No fish, no. Alright, back to activities. Then we have our file manager. And in GNOME. I'm going to say it's files. Yeah, files 40.2. The files authors. It's your standard GNOME file manager. And then we have our web browser, which is Firefox. And it opens up the Alma Linux uh, page. Free Linux OS for the community by the community. An open source community owned and governed forever free enterprise Linux distribution. Focus on long term stability, providing a robust production grade platform. Alma Linux OS is binary compatible with REGL, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And it has to download, contribute, and migrate. All right, let's see what version of Firefox we're using here. It's uh, 115.3.1 ESR. All right, that's Firefox. All right, now let's get into the applications launcher. So this is pretty much what you have. You have your Tor. Have videos, calculators, text editor, settings, system monitor, utilities. If you open this, I guess it opens up whatever's in the utilities. And then you have cheese. So well, we already saw the tour, so let's take a look at videos. Which is gonna to be totem. Totem or said yeah, totem or city lawyers usually. But yeah, this is gonna be a totem. Standard on the GNOME systems. It's always totem. But Linux being Linux, you can install whatever you want. Alright, back to the applications launcher. We have a calculator. See this calculator. One, four, eight, nine times six, three, five, seven equals, and I can confirm that's what it is with my super brain. 
and about calculator calculator 40.1 all right and moving along we have our text editor which is just a standard text editor G edit 40.0 all right G edit is well known with the known desktops and that's what you get all right then we have our settings and system monitor system monitor gives you your resources info and graphs it out for you let you know what your CPU usage is your memory usage and the status of your internet connection about system monitor we run in version 40.1 all right let's check out some utilities and see what we have have an image viewer screenshot disk using this document viewer logs fonts uh, let's take a look at the image viewer and the image viewer we're using is image viewer, the known image viewer 40.3. So if you got images you want to view, you just click right here, go to open, search for your images, and you'll be able to view them there. Alright, now let's check out the settings. So we can get into some appearance, see if uh but we'll start off with the wallpapers first. So they're pretty standard here. All right, pretty straightforward. Alma Linux has their own set of wallpapers and they're all here. So if it's something you're looking for, it should be right there. Now, Looking for any uh, any theming, but I'm not finding. So we check out background, got notifications, search, multitasking, applications. Beta. The Windows system is Wayland. I'm starting to see Wayland a lot, so I wonder if uh, XORG is going to be slowly uh, phased out. It's looking like it, but you never know. I mean, XORG has been around for so long and it's pretty much the standard on most systems, but I'm starting to see Wayland a lot, so Wayland probably is uh, getting there. Let's see if I can find something for a demon. No results on appearance. I guess no tweaks. Ah, let's go ahead and install it. some uh, tweaking of the uh, appearance. So you gotta do the gnomes tweak. So right now it's on that Dwida. Let's go dark. Yeah, there you go. Uh, cursor. Looks like that's the only one there. Icons. It's just that Dwida and high color. And high contrast. 
let me open up a file manager so we can better view Has a little warning signal, so I'm not gonna mess with that. Alright, and then top bar. That's this panel up here. Window title bars. Alright, it's pretty pretty simple. Alright, well, this is a uh, Alma Linux 9.3. Like I said, I think this is the what's taking over a uh, Sent OS, so it's mainly used by uh, sys admins, things like that. But as you can see, it could be used as a regular desktop also. So if it's something you feel interested in, take it for a spin. But uh, that's gonna do it for me. So uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, overview of Alma Linux 9.3, and uh, I'll check you guys out on the next one. And I'm out.